Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Harry Edwards Healing Minute. My name is Martin Thomas. I'm one of the trustees at the sanctuary, and it's my pleasure to be hosting today. It is Thursday, the 3rd of June, and in the UK, we're basking in a heat wave at last, and it's really lovely. So welcome to you, wherever you are in the world. Thank you very much for joining with us today. Um, as always, our priority with this healing meditation is to guide it, guide and channel that healing energy to all those who are on our healing list and other healing lists around the world. Let's just take a deep breath, tune into this beautiful music for a few minutes as everybody joins in and we prepare ourselves. So let's <clears throat> focus our attention on relaxing ourselves both physically, mentally and emotionally. Starting with the breath. Allowing ourselves to relax and release any tension that may be in the muscles of our scalp, around our eyes, our jaw, releasing any tension that may be in our throat or neck. Let's allow it all to be washed away and let's be aware of how well grounded we are to Mother Earth, helping us to feel connected to our inner strength and our higher selves. Now let's allow that relaxation to flow down our body, releasing all the tension that may be within any of the muscles, the nerves or blood vessels, as it goes down through our respiratory system, our digestive system, through our seat and into our arms and legs washing out any tension and leaving us completely relaxed. Let's clear our mind of any worries or concerns and feel that beautiful healing energy beginning to flow right now. Let's stand under that crystal clear spring water shower just refreshing ourselves, cleansing ourselves, both outside and in. So that we are now ready to do our healing work. We give thanks that we are gathered here today and ask that our homes be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As our crown chakra opens, we visualise a column of pure white light filling our body and feel the balance and harmony within our body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of our feet and our base chakra. Let us feel connected to that universal source of pure and unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. Let us join in the sanctuary prayer. Heavenly Father, we surrender ourselves to the good influencing of your healing ministers in spirit, that through your divine healing power, the disharmonies within us might be overcome and the stresses of mind and body 
be eased and lessened day by day. Help us to adopt a more positive and helpful way of thought, bringing us into closer harmony with those around us and with the divine healing purpose. And for those who are sick or in the darkness of despair, who do not know of the help that can reach them from spirit, let us pray that awareness will come to them soon, that they too might experience the upliftment of spirit that can lead us all through harmony towards true health. Amen. We ask now that all the people whose names we hold in, a, in the distant healing folder at the sanctuary may receive healing for their highest good. We also request healing for their family, their friends and loved ones who requested the distant healing for them. And we ask that as that healing reaches them, they feel a tangible improvement in their condition, a release of pain and discomfort, a cleansing and upliftment, and that they be left with a more positive outlook for the future. And we ask that this healing energy be extended out to reach all the healing lists at the healing centres up and down the country and around the world, and that it will reach everybody who is in need. And we ask that it be extended to include the animal kingdom, that they too will receive healing and relief for their suffering. And finally we ask that each one of us be included in this healing and that we will receive whatever healing we may be in need of. May they all be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. I'm going to pause the music for a moment now. Whilst we all link together and link with the healing angels to channel this healing energy. Our thanks and blessings for your help here today, and of course to all our friends in the spirit world. Thank you for joining us and participating in that simple healing act. Um, I have a couple of announcements today. Uh, this afternoon at two o'clock, we have a guided meditation with our guest speaker or guest presenter, Suzanne Brooker. Um, that will be on Zoom and Facebook. And tomorrow morning on the Healing Minute, we have a new presenter, uh, one of our uh, volunteer healers, Stuart Morris. So please join Stuart tomorrow morning. Um, hopefully the technology will be with him and it will all go smoothly. If not, I will be in the wings and I will step in in case it doesn't work. But um, we look forward and greet Stuart tomorrow morning. Um, and as I think has been mentioned earlier on in the week, this is Volunteers Week. And um, as the chair of the trustees, I would just like to add my thanks and gratitude to not only all of you, but to specifically the volunteer healers that um, support our good work at the Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary. Thank you all so much for all that you do. And to all of all of the volunteers who give um, their free 
their time and effort and energies uh, freely. Thank you very much for your good work, everybody. Um, I think that's, that's it. Short and simple today. I've got, um, for our reading, uh, I thought I would choose something from uh, the very respected Dalai Lama. This is his little book of wisdom, and um, it's his simple um, thoughts about everyday life. And in part four, he is talking about giving and receiving and about compassion. So let's see what the Dalai Lama says about compassion. Compassion is the most wonderful and precious thing. When we talk about compassion, it is encouraging to note that the basic human nature is, I believe, compassion and gentleness. For example, one scientist has told me that the first few weeks after birth is the most important period, for during that time the child's brain is enlarging. During that time the mother's touch, or that of someone who is acting like a mother, is crucial. This shows that even though the child may not realise who, who is who, it somehow physically needs someone else's affection. Without that, it is very damaging for the healthy development of the brain. When we go into hospital, irrespective of the doctor's quality, if the doctor shows genuine feeling and deep concern for us, or if he or she smiles, then we feel okay. But if the doctor shows little human affection, then even though he or she may be a very great expert, we feel unsure and nervous. This is human nature. And in education, it is my experience that those lessons which we learn from teachers, who are not just good, but who also show affection for the student, go deep into our minds. Lessons from other sorts of teachers may not. Although you may be compelled to study and may fear the teacher, the lesson may not sink in because so much depends on the affection of the teacher. When we are young and again when we are old, we depend heavily on the affection of others. Between these stages, we usually feel that we can do everything without help from others and that other people's affection is simply not important. But at this stage, I think it is very important to keep deep human affection. When people in a big town or city feel lonely, this does not mean that they lack human companions, but rather that they lack human affection. As a result of this, their mental health eventually becomes very poor. On the other hand, those people who, who grow up in an atmosphere of human affection have a much more positive and gentle development of their bodies and their minds and behaviour. The basic aim of my explanation is to show that by nature we are compassionate, that compassion is something very necessary and something which we can develop. It is important to know the exact meaning of compassion. The Buddhist interpretation is that genuine compassion is based on a clear acceptance or recognition that others, like oneself, want happiness and have the right to overcome suffering. On that basis, one develops some kind of concern about the welfare of others, irrespective of their attitude to oneself. That is compassion. Some lovely thoughts there to start the day, and I hope that they resonated with you. It's been a pleasure to host you again today, and I'm going to leave you with some more of the music, just to tune yourselves in. As always, I've been using Journey to the Temple by Llewellyn. I'll put that back on now. And as you prepare yourself for a return to everyday life, just take a few moments to once again ground yourself, once again to stand under that spring water shower, to be cleansed inside and out, physically, mentally and emotionally. Gently bring your aura close to your physical, and close your chakras 
take up the Earth's magnetic energy and the divine energy from Source, letting the two merge together to provide us all with the power source for today. Let our crown and base chakra adjust to the correct position for each of us individually. And let us now step into a protective robe. Doing up the buttons and pulling up the zips so that we are totally protected within it. Let us connect with our loved ones in the spirit world, with our guides and angels above, asking them to be with us today. Let us step into God's golden light, receive his healing, calmness. Let us choose to be light-hearted, seal ourselves in this love, knowing that we are protected above, below and all around and are ready for the day ahead. Have a lovely day everybody. See you next time. Bye bye.